All right, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're gonna figure out just how much pressure our force a cylinder will have given the variables of the pump that we're working with. Now keep in mind, cylinder push and cylinder pull are gonna be two different ratings and I'll explain that in a second. This cylinder has a four inch bore, so on the blind end, the force is going to be greater than the cylinder retracting because you have to compensate for the cylinder rod. So now let's get into the calculations. We know the pump is set up for 2000 PSI. All right, so we know our pump is 2000 PSI. To find the area of the cylinder blind end, it is pi times cylinder radius square. The cylinder rod end is blind end minus rod area. So to refresh everybody, this is the rod end right here, and this would be the blind end. So moving forward, we know the diameter is four inches. The radius is half that, so two inches. So now the formula is 3.14 times two squared, which equals 12.56 square inches. Now to calculate the cylinder output in pounds, we take the PSI times the cylinder area. All right, so given the information, we got 2,000 PSI times 12.56 equals 25,120 pounds of force pushing on that cylinder, which should be more than enough to split logs. Now let's calculate the cylinder rod end. You got to be very careful because you don't want to scratch the cylinder, but we're looking at one and a half inches. All right, now moving along. The diameter of the rod is 1.5, the radius of that is half that, so 0.75. So the formula is pi 3.14 times 0.75 squared equals 1.76. Now you need to minus the area of the blind end, which was 12.56, minus the area of the rod, which is 1.76, which gives you 10.8. Now. Then you take the pressure that we're using, which is 2,000 PSI times 10.8, will give us a pull of 21,600 pounds. So now we know how much force that cylinder is going to put out for the log splitter. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.